Today, I'm going to show you how I tram my mill vise. This is the process of getting the mill vise square with the table. But before we have a look at how to do this, it's worth looking at another option, which is to install keys on the bottom of your vise. These keys fit in the small recesses provided on the bottom of your mill vise and can be sized to fit your T slots. The keys on my vise are slightly undersized, so I still tram my vise when it's installed, but it's a lot quicker than without the keys. The first step for installing the mill vise is to clean the mill table and coat it with oil. Today I'm using WD-40, but any oil will do. The oil prevents coolant from being trapped under the mill vise, which can cause corrosion and discoloration of the mill table. I align the vise with the middle of the table, and then lightly bolt it down. This will allow the vise to be moved slightly as it's aligned. Next we need to look at the tools which we're going to use to align the table. First one being a test dial indicator. The next thing we'll need is a holder. This first version fits in a chuck. It's economical to purchase and works well. The only downside to these is you have to remove the tool. The indicator is held by a small dovetail on the back of it, which fits the holder. Today we're also going to look at a second holder option. This fixes to the spindle so you don't need to remove tools or swap chucks to use it. These are a bit more pricey than the first option, but you can find deals, and I found this one on Amazon. The indicator is once again held by the same dovetail as with the previous version. Once the indicator is on the holder, it's located against the rear fixed jaw of the vise. When the indicator is zeroed, this can be done by either moving the table or simply turning the face of the dial. The x-axis is then moved to run the indicator along the vice jaw. Once we get to the other end we'll be able to see how far out it is. I then use a soft head hammer to tap the vice towards zero. Then the process is repeated in the opposite direction and this time I'm about 0.02 of a millimetre out so it's getting much closer. This process is once again repeated and I give it a final check. And this time I'm bang on. So the nuts are given a final tighten down to ensure the vise is secure. If you get any movement from this you may want to recheck one last time with the indicator. At this point it's time to give the table a quick wipe to remove any excess oil and I'm good to go. As you can see this process is really simple. It definitely improves the accuracy of your parts. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video please like, subscribe and share. Catch you next time.